Yes, what we're looking at here is an aerial view of the Tome site. As you can see, the Susquehanna River in the background and the large building at the top left is Memorial Hall. Uh, that's the largest building on the property. It's the building that you can see the clock tower when you uh, drive north on I-95. And this represents a, uh, a, a blueprint, if you would, of the uh, actual building sites. You'll see the seven large granite buildings built around the quadrangle and the Italian gardens. And then at the lower part of the, the uh, property were the six professors' quarters. Uh, those are wooden frame houses, and they're still there today. And all of those buildings, by the way, now are part of Maryland Historical Trust. And our mission is to have those restored uh, as much as possible. Well, it goes back quite a few years, as you may have heard. Uh, Jacob Tome was the uh, visionary that ultimately created the Tome School. And he came into our area in Port Deposit, I think it was in 1833. Uh, quite a businessman, engaged in banking, railroading, steamboating, lumber business. And uh, by the late 1880s, uh, he had amassed quite a fortune. And he started a school in uh, Port Deposit, kind of a manual arts school, one for building for boys and one for girls, and, uh, and also a gymnasium. And then in 1899, based on the success of that program, uh, Mr. Tome acquired 100 acres up on the bluff overlooking Port Deposit, uh, known as the Abrams Farm, and uh, began the construction in the 1900s through 1910 of what is now the Tome School, with seven large granite buildings and uh, six uh, professor's quarters. The buildings were designed uh, uh, primarily by uh, Bolton and Tilton, a uh, fairly well-known architectural. They won the uh, RFP, the, in the language of today, uh, to uh, provide the architectural structure for the uh, buildings. And it's, uh, it's classified as uh, Beaux Art, uh, Georgian Revival style, uh, all large granite buildings. And the other centerpiece of the building is the uh, Italian Gardens, uh, which was designed in the construction supervised by Frederick Olmsted who uh, was well known for his work in uh, creating the Central Park in New York City. And I might add that the, um, the Bolton and Tillman organization also received international fame because of their, uh, the center they designed, the Immigration Center at uh, Ellis Island in New York.